Hello, dear Marvinettes. We have a new version for you. It's version 1.63.0. Excuse my voice. I've been sick. I'm going to try not to cough in this video. We have actually two new strategies and a lot of changes. So I'm only going to go through a few of them. And we have something really exciting that actually our dear Bronco made. And you might know him from support. And he is also a really talented and creative program and he made a browser extension for you that you can download on the chrome extension store um i think it's not quite released yet but go to our youtube channel and check out the video to see all the amazing features there's even a gmail add-on he really did a fantastic job so thank you so much bronco and let's um show some appreciation for the work that he did and yeah, so you can go here and we have it's open source so you can also download the source code and um, help improve it if you like and let's get into these strategies one is called text style and as you can see it's a way to apply a style very easily just to any text inside the task so here we have a rainbow one here i have a little marvin you can also bold face it just another way to add some prioritization to your tasks if you don't want to use the stars or have another system in addition to it. We also added a mood tracker. And you might think, what does a mood tracker have to do with a to-do app? But as you know, we're trying to help you with more than just organizing your tasks. We're also trying to help you actually do the things that you want to do. And this is where emotions and the mood that we're in is really, really important. So what I found is that when we are in a good mood, when we feel good, it's just so much easier for us to do the things that we want to be in control of ourselves. And that, in co of course, improves our mood further. But this world we live in is not easy. A lot of things drag us down. So a lot of us struggle with having bad moods and that affects our productivity which puts us in an even worse mood so there's also this negative spiral that many of us know really well and the first step in using our emotions to kind of break these cycles because we can break the cycle by either forcing ourselves to do work and that can improve our mood but that in my opinion is a much harder way to approach this than to find ways to actually improve our mood. Now, of course, we can do both. And that's the beauty of this interconnectedness. You can, you can work on either one and it will affect the other. But I think sometimes it's a bit overlooked um, to approach productivity from this emotional place. Um, and the mood tracker is really the first step in doing any kind of emotional work, which is awareness that we just become aware in different moments in time of what is actually going on inside of us. How do we feel? At the top, there's just a simple rating scale from one to five, if you will. That's sort of the first step, just trying to check in where approximately you fall on the spectrum right now for good and bad emotions. And then you can also try to be more specific and you have your more positive emotions up here the negative ones down here and you can kind of try to see what resonates at that time and additionally you can also write down some insights of what is actually happening inside of you what are you thinking about right now what are you concerned about or what are you excited about so that you can kind of make deeper connections between the feelings that you feel and how this maybe relates to something that's going on inside of you because sometimes we are just focused on certain thoughts um, but sometimes it's also something that's going on outside of us, something that's happening in our lives. Um, and so then how we relate to it. So this is really a tool of introspection, which is always the first step. And do not underestimate how powerful something like this can be to just regularly um, check in with ourselves. And often the solutions will follow. But of course, this is also just for us one step in something that we have planned and how I want to help you more with all of this, uh, with your emotions and your productivity. 
um so stay tuned but we hope that this is already of some help to you there is will be a history and i think this needs a lot of work <laughs> in terms of interfaces so as always let us know your feedback we're just kind of doing quick and dirty um and yeah when you enable this strategy you can add the mood tracker into any of your menus as usual so here i i linked it up into the sidebar so that you have easy access and there's also a keyboard shortcut i for checking in with yourself um we also finally added some reward and many of you have locked unlocked already if you have reached level 90 and that's being able to add a background image to the sidebar and you do this in the settings here you can just search for sidebar i believe it's in the themes and yeah be creative with that i think there's so many cool things that we could um add into the sidebar because i had an idea for maybe creating a lot of white and then just an image of a person that inspires me why I do the work so if you have maybe a child and you're working on a project and you're kind of doing it you know also to give your child um, a better future or to support your family or even yourself like you could put a picture of yourself here um, or yourself as a child or whatever just gives you a sense of meaning and inspiration for the work that you do um, so we also added another way that you can use labels and don't worry if this is starting to get very um confusing i do have some ideas now i guess i'll make some videos but we now have three types of label groups so you can have just basic label groups so they're not really you know it's just for your grouping so that you can have an organization with your labels we have exclusive labels so they're automatically when one gets applied another gets taken off so this can be helpful for some kind of um, stages and then we added a sequential label group so if you have a sequence of steps that you take a task through, let's say you have um, blog posts and you make a task for a blog post but there's different phases you have to do research first and you have to do a draft and you have to do polish you can just apply the research label to your blog post when you create it blog post task and then as you check off the the label by clicking on it it's an action label and it's sequential it will automatically create a task um, let me show you this actually it's, it's, it's confusing let's see the black blog post so i can click on research and it will create a task called research with your blog post as completed and it automatically implies the next label in the sequence of labels in that group which would be now working on a draft um, to this. So then you don't have to um, constantly make new um, tasks for the next steps because it's still um, working on that one blog post, but just different parts to it. I hope that makes sense. Um, if not, let me know and I can dive deeper on that in the video. But yeah, some people I think are already using the action label and, and all that. So this was a request um we've also added in the timers a new type of tomato timer where the length of the break will be proportional to how long you worked so the longer you work the longer your break will be and this actually physiologically makes a lot of sense um because there needs to be a balance in how we're using our brain and um i guess this is also maybe something i could make a video about how to actually take a good breaks so that we do get recharged because there's definitely some ways that help our brain recover better than other ways. Um, I've also added a shortcut so that if you want to plan something for a specific week, you can now use the calendar week. This was a request. So if you're working with weeks, so you can say for week 30 in the year. Um, and we have I think this was a really big request for quite some time and we're really happy that we could finally add this but when you complete the week the default is that it creates a separate section for your completed tasks at the bottom you can now change this so that it will actually stay within the list and just gets crossed out so some people uh, prefer that and now you can go change that in settings i think you could just search for completed here and we will find it here 
رو مورد شوکه شام um, one extra change we also made is that if you have an automatic rollover so that all the tasks scheduled for previous days get rolled over if they have a specific time now I think you can change if it should, they should also get rolled over so this was um, just a request we've also been getting a lot so I hope that you enjoyed this release and we apologize that it took so long to release something new we're also have someone now who's working or has been working on the apps, the mobile apps in a dedicated way. And we have a big new project and we're doing some freshening up of the interface and of our website and improving a lot of things so we can actually go into a phase. We're focusing more on marketing as well because we are still in the early stages, even though we've existed for quite a while. <laughs> it's been an interesting ride. But we're still here, we still care, we're still um, dedicated to making Marvin the best it can be and help you the most as we can. And thank you so much for being with us and your patience and your love and your support. And um, wish you a great day. <laughs>